proud of our guys for, for their fight and, and compete. They responded well from obviously a, a disappointing game on Friday, so I appreciate the, the way they responded. Um, you know, Tennessee's really good. I mean, very well coached, but they're tough, they're physical, they're older, they're a good team. They're a very good team. They're going to win a lot of games uh, in SEC play. They're for sure top 20 team in the country. I don't think there's any denying that. Um, but, uh, you know, look, it's just we've, we've struggled and scoring-wise, and we just haven't been able to get over the hump at some key times. And, uh, you know, when you're missing Josh Okogie that's 18 points a game, just it's hard because you don't have that, especially when teams are pressuring you, you have that one guy that can just beat people off the bounce. And, um, uh, you know, I had said this prior to um, when all this stuff was going on, before, you know, with the suspensions and everything, and after our first six games, I said, if we could be four and two, it's an absolute win, considering everything. And we were four and two. Now, maybe how we got to four and two wasn't exactly how we wanted to get there, but we got there. Uh, and then the second part, now, because I didn't know that Josh was going to be out longer than what he is, you know, I probably would have said if we could be five and three after knowing Josh is going to miss all these games after a first date, considering everything with the suspensions, is probably a, uh, you know, we would take it and, 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 you know, do cartwheels and jumping jacks. So we have a chance to do that, to accomplish that. Uh, obviously, we've got to take care of business on, on, on uh, Friday, or excuse me, on Wednesday to do that. But um, against a very well, well, well coached Wofford team. Uh, but, you know, our guys played hard, they competed. We just can't, we've struggled getting over that hump when we've had opportunities to get over that hump. You know, it's just been hard for us. Well, we had multiple times. Kelly, we had multiple times where, and that, that one was 41 40, and Lamont Turner hit that big three. Todrick actually played really good defense, handed his face in a big three. Kurt had a three to tie it that went in and out. We had some other times we just could not get over the hump. We had some layups, and then we missed some key free throws again. Um, and that's what I'm talking about. It just, I've always said this the hardest thing to coach is when you can't score. I mean, it's just, and it's interesting. Um, in my seven years at Memphis, we were one of the highest scoring teams in the country, the very highest, always one of the very, very best scoring-wise, and it was easy to score. And then last year, it was very hard to score, and without Josh Okogi, it's hard to score. It just, it just is, because you don't have that breakdown guy. And, uh, but that is what it is. It's not an excuse, so we have to adapt, and um, you know, we just got to find a way to try to win on Wednesday. You know, I'll, I'll know a lot more after when you know when, after Wednesday, so we can kind of regroup, we uh, just get reorganized, you know, recenter ourselves in a sense, and and um, find a way to just you know pick up some things that we need to clean up, pick up, and be better at, and then let him get with the doctors. I mean, the good thing is is that cast is off. Now we're just waiting on the skin or you know the skin to heal. So whenever that may be, and he gets the green light, we'll do it. We'll let him play, and I'm hoping he'd be back sooner than later. Um, but originally, the thought plan, the thought process was for Notre Dame. We saw a different bend tonight, even though his mobility is still limited a little. We see more active out there. Since November 19th, today's December 3rd, Ben's been on the floor six times. Bethune Cookman, all the way through this game, Tennessee, he's been on the floor six times, and that's only in game days. So you're talking from November 19th to December 3rd, he's practiced six times, which has actually been games. Every other time he's on the side with getting treatment. So very hard for a guy to, you know, and I play him 40 minutes, it's very hard for a guy to do what he needs to do, what we need him to do, uh, well, literally just being on the floor six times since November 19th. You're out of, he's out of rhythm, he's out of sync, he's not in a flow. Um, he's not able to do what he needs to do offensively, like what he did against UCLA early in that in the game. He hasn't been able to do that since, and it's just because he hasn't practiced, and he's been favoring a bad ankle. And you know, could I have sat him out uh, and try to you know maybe a game or two for a full week and let him get fully healthy? I, you know, the problem is is if you're sitting in my chair without him, I we you know it's. You have a better chance of winning with him even at 50% than you do with him not in the game. Just kind of is what it is with him. Coach, you 
does shot 39% tonight in the floor. Was there anything in particular that Tennessee was doing uh, to disrupt you there? They really got after us. They got underneath us. And that's why I was saying we're missing Joshua Kogi, that guy to be able to break you down and uh, to be able to make plays off the bounce. Uh, and that's been, that's, been th that's been something that we've been missing. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping that after, in hopes of bad strategy, but I'm looking forward to after, we, after this break, after Wofford, and hopefully we can play well and somehow get a win, that we can regroup, get healthy, and really be, as I've said, I think we'll be a lot similar to we were last year. I've been saying it all along that early on, we're going to be rocky up and down as we were last year. And then as we got to ACC play, we started to really play well. And we won monster games last year in the ACC. And I'm believing that will be the same course of action this year. But in order to do that, we're going to have to get healthy. Started a little slow on the board, but as the game went on, it seemed like you, uh, you guys started. I, I, I really was proud of our physicality. I thought we had a good hit first mentality. Listen, I, I think Curtis Hay was going to be a really good player. I think Moses Wright's going to be a really good player. You can see he's continuing to get better. I mean, Jose's going to, and he took a bad shot late. He took another two, one or two shots, bad shots. Made a bad play here and there. But however, the guy gets you seven boards. He fights, he scraps. You know, you're going to, you're going to live and die with some things with him. And, um, and there's just going to be a learning curve with him. But, those three freshmen, uh, they're going to be really good as we continue to move forward. As, and I remind everyone, as is Evan Cole, it's just because AD has played well, especially today, uh, he continues to get better other than the last game. He's really had a good so far junior campaign. Uh, you know, it's just not as many opportunities to get him in, Evan Cole, but he's going to be good. It's just we're missing Josh. We're missing Josh Okogi. Uh, and it's not an excuse because we've got to deal with it. It's just. That, that those 18 points are a big big thing for us, especially the ability to break someone down. Uh, coach, at 44-40, Ben Hammond takes the layup. Everyone thinks it's a and blocking foul. And it eventually it's a charge. It, it, what are the officials? How did officials explain that to you? And how much of a turning point was that since Tennessee to three-pointer right after that? Yeah, a, a great point on that. And uh, look, a few things. One is um, <clears throat> uh, whether I agree, you know, obviously I disagree with the call, but the, the officials, uh, you know, we, we got great officials in this league, and Brian Kersey, the head of the officials, does a great job. And those three guys today, Jamie and Michael and Ron, uh, are high, all high-level guys. And, um, you know, in those, as I've said, and it was the same thing kind of like on Friday night, but the same thing today, some of those 50-50 calls where maybe it could go either direction. You know, unfortunately, like I thought that call was a 50-50 call. It didn't go our way, but, though, but though, that's not the reason we lost. I mean, those were, it was a big swing. It was a big swing, uh, but um, but we've got great officials, and the three guys that were today are, are very high-level officials, high-level guys, and um, uh, and, and we've got, I, I feel, the best officials in, 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 in any of basketball is here in the ACC, so, and that's a credit to Brian Kersey. But that, those two possessions, we were up, for, we were down 41-40, Lamont Turner hits the three on Todrick, late shot clock. And then coming down, and I thought it was going to be a three-point play, and it ended up being a you're talking about a you know six-point swing because of the back-to-back th -back three-point shots. Coach, uh, one of the biggest things that stood out to me tonight was the 33 points that uh, Tennessee got off of their bench, and yep. you guys only get eight. Uh, what do you tell your guys going forward, you know, about the importance of coming off the bench for the well, I mean, look, I mean, I didn't play our bench as much either. So I played our starters, you know, 23, 40, 34, 35, 36. So there was more opportunities for the starters, and, and they played more guys coming off the bench. Uh, so, and, and Lamont Turner was the big difference. He had 24 points, didn't start. So, you know, he was our leading scorer. Like, we did a good job on Grant Williams, who averaged 18, and their leading scorer coming in only helped him to 11. <clears throat> In the first half, he had some tough shots. It's just Lamont Turner came in and hit big shots. He was probably the difference in the game today. A couple more questions for Coach. I'd be curious to see how teams kind of react to the first real road game. Yeah, I mean, we're playing again, in the, obviously, in a hostile environment at, at Wofford. It's going to be a hard game. There's no denying that. Uh, but we're, we're, you know, these freshmen are going to have to grow up quick, so it'll be an interesting, you know, road trip that they've got to, I want to see how they handle it. And, and they've got to be extremely professional on, and their mindset's got to be great. And it starts tomorrow in our practice, we've got to have a good mindset going into Wednesday's
game. It's going to be a 48-hour mentality to be ready to play. We've got to find a way to win. And Wofford's really good. I mean, we got lucky last year to beat them here at home. I mean, <clears throat> we got really fortunate late there. And they're, they're very well coached, and they, they do a lot of good. You know, offensively, they move as well as anybody. I like today, I didn't think our cutting was as good as it's been. We didn't cut as well as we've been. And I think the pressure bothered us today. Under, you know, we've been getting underneath us a little bit. But that's where not having, not to go off the question of Josh, to be able to just to beat somebody off the dribble to make a pay. Jose can do that a little bit, but, you know, he sometimes just goes in there and he gets a block, or he missed one or two layups there that were, that were key for us. In terms of playing the game, it seems like trying a better effort can be their Super Bowl. But it is their Super Bowl. When they have an ACC team come to their house, I imagine that that's something you have to warn your guys against. Well, I've warned them. Yeah, I mean, this was obviously pre-scheduled before I got the job here, and so – but you got to if you if you're fortunate enough to win the game, it's one heck of a win. The bus ride back would be like you know you're getting you know ham and turkey sandwiches. They would be like eating you know getting a five star steak. That's how happy you'd be on a road win like that. Uh, that's how it would taste. But it's gonna be a hard game. It's gonna be a really hard game. If we can if we're fortunate enough to win, it'd be one heck of a win. Coach uh, Kurt has, has mostly shot threes this year. He took it to the hole a couple of times tonight. Do you want to see him do more of that? I mean, Kurt had a great stat line, 12, 8, and 6. It's pretty good for a freshman in this level of a game. I, and, again, Moses, even though he didn't rebound, but he did some good things, kept balls alive. Um, you know, for a guy that wasn't even rated and was a no-star, uh, for him to compete and give us some minutes in this game, he's going to be good. Just we got to get, you know, we got to get those guys better and continue to improve, and we got to continue to get everyone better and just keep, keep getting guys better so they're ready to play and help us win games. One last question for Coach. Good. Okay, right. thanks, everybody. Thank